What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I was looking for a way to mount my cell phone right in front of me while I'm driving. And I found this. Now this little mount or clamp is by Ugreen and you can see right there what the shape is like. It's actually in a pretty small box here. And one of the things that I really wanted was to be able to mount my cell phone right in front of my driving position, almost like a heads up display and mostly for navigation purposes. Now, it comes with a little rubber pad here, so I'm not sure what that is. I think it might be to help with grip and to prevent any marring of your dashboard. And here are the two pieces that come out. So first of all, we have the mount itself. Look, you can see here, it's kind of curved like a wing and it's pretty thin plastic, but pretty rigid. And then it has a post here with a ball joint on it. Now underneath we have rubber right here as well as rubber on the top of the clamp right there. So this will kind of slide on like this. I can tell you, you know, standard size fingers, that's pretty strong, dude. It's pretty strong. You can see how wide it is, probably about an inch and a half wide. So it should give a pretty good side to side lateral stability. I wouldn't mind it actually being a little wider so that you don't get the wobble like that. The post here is only maybe oh, about an inch and a quarter high. Then you get, with a little plastic on it, the phone mount itself, and it says U-Green on it. And we have a couple of small lips right at the top there to help pull it in. You can see both sides come out. It's hinged. That'll keep your phone centered. And then on the back, we have that standard screw-in ball joint. So to mount it, all you do is take this off. You put the collar on here. Then you press the joint together. And then you spin this tight, and that will clamp it down and hold it into place. Now, my guess is that if you want it horizontally like that, you would orient it vertically. And then you could put in your phone. Um, and then you do have some adjustment here depending on what the angle of the dashboard is. It doesn't go any further down than that or tilt any further forward because it hits the bottom there. Uh, you could also do it vertically, I suppose. But I think most phones are going to have a lot of phone hanging out the top if you do that. For example, if I put this phone in here, it's going to be kind of top heavy. Uh, I think you're going to want to do it mostly sideways. So that is a look of the mount. Now we have to see if this thing actually works. So inside the car, and I'm going to use this little rubber on the top just, just to make sure that I don't mar the dashboard itself. And there I have it installed. And the nice thing about it is that despite how thick this is, it's almost probably an inch thick, man, that is on there tight. Uh, so that is super, super solid. Now I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in that. And look at that, man. Now I have the phone right in my line of sight. I also want to point out here that I'm holding my camera a little lower, so I'm holding it below my chin, and so it looks like it's blocking quite a bit of the road. Now, I'm sitting up pretty high because this is an SUV, and when I'm looking down, even with my large phone, it's really not blocking any of the road. However, I would say if you're driving a car or driving a sports car, something that's much lower and you have a much lower angle uh, uh, towards the road, it may actually block the road, so you may not want to use this in anything that doesn't give you a very upright seating position just because it might not be safe, or maybe you want to use it but only on private non-public roads you know like an abandoned road in mexico hey if you want to pick this up though you can i'll put a link to it in the description below peter Ron panda out